Okay guys, this is take number four. Something is happening with my camera. It is not working. Anyway, 35 week bump date. If this is your first time here at Anderson Lane, please like and subscribe down below and leave us a comment so we know who you are. I've had a couple new subscribers in the last couple days. If you guys are new here, please leave me a comment so I can find out who you are. All right, on to the bump date. Good, we're still recording. Um, so, because not a lot has changed with me in this week, this is the 35th week of my pregnancy. This is the last week that we don't have a doctor's appointment. Um, from here on out, from 36 to 39, when I'm scheduled to be induced, we will have one every week. Um, so this is the last week without a doctor's appointment. Then I get checked every week from here on out. So the baby right now is about the size of a honeydew melon, according to my baby center app that I've been tracking his progress on. Um, he weighs about approximately five and a quarter pounds and is 18, about 18 inches long. So he is a baby, like he is up there getting big. And I can tell. <laughs> in the app, they talk about how at this point your uterus is way up just under your rib cage, and the baby, the amniotic fluid is getting less in there because the baby's getting so big. Sorry, he's moving right now, but he, he doesn't, he's camera shy, so I don't know if he'll let me film him actually moving. <laughs> or otherwise, I would show you guys. Um, but, where was I? Yeah, so he's running out of, there. it's just mostly baby in there, and it's kind of fun because I can feel, he moves all the time now, except when I turn the camera on or when Curtis touches him, he stops. Um, but I can feel like his bum or his legs or his feet, and I can just, like, I'll press and he'll roll. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. And my nephew... Um, the other day he wanted to fill the baby and so I found where his bum was because he wasn't really moving at that point and uh, he touched his bum and I said oh yeah you're patting the baby's bum and he kind of looked at me like hmm and then a little bit later the baby was moving and so I had him come over and feel it and he's like oh, baby and I said yep and so it's been kind of fun the kids have had fun with it um, the only person that doesn't really get to feel him much is Curtis actually the baby can be rolling and as soon as I replace like my hand with Curtis's he will stop so I just keep saying that I hope that this continues because that means that when he's out hopefully if he holds him he'll just stop crying and calm down and that would be great so hopefully hopefully that continues Anyway, baby is head down. He has dropped even more than before. Um, I walk, let me check, we're still good. I walk like John Wayne right now in an old Western movie. I've got like, a, there's no pregnancy waddling. It's like a pregnancy strut now. It's a thing, I'm making it a thing, pregnancy strut. Um, but I feel like I should be packing six shooters or something because it, yeah, it's like the full, ugh, maybe I'll film it and show it to you guys. Yeah, he is dropped, and because of that, I have to pee all the time now. Um, also, because he's dropped my round ligaments, which haven't hurt a ton this whole time. They're pretty sore. I can't be up and moving like a ton throughout the day. Sorry, I got to switch hands, guys. Um, because <clears throat> I, my body just gets tired so fast um, and because he's dropped so much there's so much pressure on my pelvis it's kind of made me retain water in my legs and my feet my feet look like Fred foot so feet all the time now and my legs are are big <laughs> they're not horrible it's just I put on a skirt the other day to go to church and I was like yeah I'm not wearing that because I feel like my legs are huge it's just kind of the end of pregnancy symptoms, guys. We are in the final four weeks because I'm getting induced a week early. We're in the final four weeks, about 35 weeks. Um, so it's kind of crazy. 
I've been nesting. I cleaned all of the walls and the upstairs off the baseboards, like scrubbed them, all of the doors. I scrubbed my kitchen table chairs. Um, I reorganized our electronics downstairs. I've like, it's, it's been crazy. I don't feel like when I'm doing it that I'm kind of a crazy person. I did kind of with the walls. I felt like I was a crazy person then. But yeah, it's definitely here, which is good. And I've been getting stuff ready for you guys for when we are in the hospital. So I don't, I'm planning on keeping the three videos a week. If you guys have noticed, I've kind of, I haven't wanted to say I'm sticking to the schedule because when I do, I feel like I'll fall off the bandwagon, but I've been posting Monday, Wednesday, and either Friday or Saturday, so three videos a week, and I want to keep doing that, so I've gotten some videos ready for when we're at the hospital, but I hope you guys understand that if something goes wrong or there's got some stuff going on, I will try to get stuff up as soon as I can, but we may, and I may just be tired for a little bit, we may just have a little bit of a lull. Um, through November. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be completely back and ready for December. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me. This has been so much fun to be able to have somebody to talk to. I know you guys, it's kind of crazy because I just sit here and stare at a camera and talk to you guys and I feel like I know you. I'm actually talking to people. So it's a, that's why I really like the comments because I feel like I get to know you and I've got to make so many good friends here on YouTube through this channel. So I've been so grateful for that. Thank you guys again for taking this journey with us. And if this is your first time here, please don't hesitate to comment down below and let us know who you are. And like and subscribe to our channel if you want to keep watching. Thank you guys so much for everything. We love you. And we'll talk to you again later. Bye.